Artyom, I knew. Behind you. There is always one like you, a hero. You're not saving anyone, just like the others. So just free. Yes, yes. Let just, him just go. Don't kill me. Now. Remember what I told you. There was an explosion. Enough chatter. <laughs> Are you all right, Artyom? Thank God. Let's report to the Colonel. Dad, it's me. Are you okay? Where are you? In the sick bay. Artyom found me. Let's go! Not too fast, though. I need to catch my breath a bit. <laughs> this whole situation, though... I thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volga. And that's Zelantius with his damn fanatics. But no, it appears there was still space for growth. We could have gotten killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. in Moscow. Those keep people on the ground with their deceit. Please! All right, but what do we do I'll now? I'll be damned if I know, Anna. No idea. Have you found anything, idiot? Their defense sites, HQs, all the information is outdated. All links are long gone. Still, the ones that light up worked for at least a few years after the war. What's down there? It's Caspian 1, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. <laughs> Are you going to drag us to some other bunker I now? I don't know, Anna. We have to make the decision together. Did you get everything you could, idiot? We're leaving! One moment. I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on! Come on! Okay, all done. I don't think you should have put it like that, Anna. It all worked out this time, didn't it? It worked out. It really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't. <laughs> of course not. All the more reason to strive and spend more time with us.
wanted to... I think I believed those pricks from Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ. That we were under occupation. That we were still in war. That there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Sutka. I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war. The government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites. What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. <coughs> if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> Could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? Sound the horn, then. <coughs> Three months on the road, three months of constant trial. But after Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know, but what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst, and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs. I'm not in love with this place. Nothing but sand and heat. I feel like shit here.
Somehow, I don't want this welcome either. Let's go. They stopped in that village there. Looks like somebody lives there. I see. How are the men doing, Demir? Stepan is the worst off. The others are not so well either. Oh, only us here are still in fighting shape. <sighs> Thank you. Ada, you and Demir reconnoitre the area. We need to find the damn bunker and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. And there's barely enough water in the boiler to make some tea. And we're all out of coal. <sighs> I see. We'll need to address that too. Anna, Demir, one more task. Look for water and fuel. Sir Duke, get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. Roger that. See you soon. Just try to be careful, all right? Artyom, we have to learn who those men with the car are. They do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info. Which is just what we need now. Move out as soon as you're ready. Crest, can your rail car pull the train? It might, but really slowly and not for too long. The engine is too weak for the weight and we, we don't have much diesel left. All clear. some cleaning are you going out look here then this is something I finished just now well, I hollowed out a couple of tihar bullets and filled them with explosive some explosive ammo right there now well, you can do it yourself it's quite simple don't forget to clean your guns regularly with all this sand around.
a mistake coming here. I surrender! <laughs> 